It's a question many of us have asked this month. What do you get your father for Christmas? For the son of George's billionaire Prime Minister, the answer is simple. Not socks, not chocolates, but a rap album. Meet Bera Ivanishvili. Thank you, Katuli accent. Barely two months since his father Bedzino was elected, he too is making waves. With a debut album called I Promise, which was released on Monday. His music was inspired by his father's electoral campaign and was heard during some rallies. Bedzina Ivanishvili's party, Georgian Dream, was even named after one of his songs. But until now, the music hasn't been allowed to reach a wider audience. My music was uh, so forbidden everywhere. It was like a crime to play, uh, to play my songs on the radio or my videos or anything. It was like a crime. So um, every, every, almost uh, all the media was against us. So I felt it more <laughs> like a couple of months ago. But uh, now I just feel uh, more responsible, probably. Mr. Ivanishvili was elected in late October, but he has quickly attracted controversy. On the same day his son's album was being publicised, he was forced to defend a wiretapping programme against former ministers and allies of the president. He's Georgia's richest man and the 153rd richest man in the world, with a personal wealth of more than $6 billion. He has a private zoo, a vast art collection, and possibly now, a hit artist under the same roof. Bera, too, has ambitions of reaching the top. Definitely want to say uh, thank you with the Georgian accent if I get a Grammy Award one day. I definitely want to do it. It's like my dream. The Prime Minister's opinion of his son's music is not known. But if the album is a success, it will be difficult to find as good a gift next Christmas. Roland Hughes, BBC News.